Hello and welcome to V-Ray SketchUp series. Today, we'll take a look at Photoshop's Curves and Levels Adjustment Tools. These tools are great in enhancing an architectural rendered scene. They do so by adjusting the brightness, contrast, and tonal range of an image. Let's start with Levels. This handle adjusts our shadows, the darker shades, or the darker color in our image. This one controls the highlights, or the lighter shades, or the brighter colors in our image. And this is for the mid-tones. Sliding this handle to the right or towards the highlights will make the shadows along with the dark colors darker and sliding this one to the left or towards the shadows will make the highlights along with the light colors brighter. Let's take a good look at this scene. Notice that it already has a pretty good contrast between the highlights and the shadows, between the dark shades and the brighter ones. But we can still enhance this image by sliding the highlights handle slightly towards the left, just at the tip of the histogram bar before it slopes upwards. Right here. Now this slider does the opposite. If we grab this handle towards the right, it makes our image brighter or it makes the darker colors become brighter. And if we drag this handle to the left or towards the shadow, it makes the lighter colors darker. So in this sense, I think it's so hard to achieve the contrast that we want for our image. Let's try. So dragging this one, it makes the image brighter. And dragging this one to the left makes it darker. So I think it's very hard to achieve the contrast that we wanted or that we want. So it's better to do the contrast that we want for our image in this slider the slider above as you can see contrast is very easy to achieve in this slider we have eight types of preset levels adjustments these are those one of which might suit your preference it might be this one Maybe you would like light and shadows, mid-tones darker. Our image is an RGB image, meaning it has three channels, the red, green, and the blue channel. To manually adjust each channel, just click on this drop-down arrow and select those channels. Going on to the green channel, just drag these sliders and the blue channel until you get the result that you want. Now we have these three eyedroppers. The first one is the black point dropper, this one is the gray point dropper. And this is the white point dropper the black and the white point droppers defines the black and white points in our image and the gray point dropper defines the neutral colors in our image so using this dropper will somehow adjust or balance the colors in our image 
So to use this gray point dropper, just click on it and select a neutral color in our image. Let's try this one. Let's try this black point dropper and select a dark color, maybe this one. So we get this result. Let's undo this. And now we'll try the white point dropper and select a bright area, this one. And so we got these adjustments. Finally, if we click on this one, it will automatically adjust the levels based on a previously saved default settings. So if I click Auto, I got this result. Just click Options to select a default levels adjustment settings or parameters so we have four default levels settings and these are enhanced monochromatic contrast enhanced per channel contrast fine dark and light colors and enhanced brightness and contrast these are the four settings we can choose from now let's try selecting enhanced brightness and contrast now we are seeing the result to save this as our default just click this one or just yeah just check this one and click ok so let's exit levels for a moment and open it again now we are going to click auto and see the result so uh, this adjustment was based on these settings that we have just saved the curves adjustment tools works the same way as levels it also controls the brightness, contrast, and tonal range of an image. The only difference is that curves can be more flexible to use. So just like levels, if you want your highlights to be brighter, just drag this handle towards the shadow or to the left. And if you want the dark areas to be darker, just drag this to the highlights or to the right. And if you want the dark areas to be brighter, you just drag this upwards. And if you want the highlights to be darker, just drag this downwards. If we drag this upwards, we will get a brighter image. And if we pull this down, we will get a darker image. Now looking at this scene, we can see that it already has a pretty good contrast, a good color contrast. The highlights are quite pretty much defined and the dark areas contrasting well with our light areas or light colors. But let's enhance this scene furthermore. Using the Curves Adjustment Tools, I'll drag this up a little, making my scene brighter. And I would like my highlights to be more defined, so I'll drag this handle towards to the right or towards 
our shadow and we got this result 